<laughs> okay, show me what button turns it off. The power button. Another thing, too, that morning at 10, they want us to come over there. Go ahead and talk for me. Let's talk what you're here for. I'm here to promote Art Bash 2012 with the Roundtable Art Group. Okay, Granny. Hudson's talk one, okay? It's me and Amanda. <laughs> All right. Hanan 20 right yeah, there. Zoom in a little closer. I can't quite see us. I know, you got that right, buddy. I'm blind. <laughs> That's cute. All right. Thanks, my friend. Oh, okay. Uh, Meadow. Never. Meadow she don't never do it. Sports. I done told I'm her that. I told not to. Who was to, who told you not well, to? Well, I mean. Uh -huh. No, you tell us. Who told you that? Who told you that? Uh, What's Vic, her name? Vic said there's no reason to mention Carolina there's and no Company rain? unless right, we're going to be there I'm live. We don't give a damn about it. We live. We live here. Check, check. One, two, three, four, five. Mic check. <clears throat> hey, boss. Labor Day. Are you guys here that Monday? You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Amanda Kinseth. And Cecil Chandler. If it's happening in the area, then it's on Carolina and Company Live. Hello, Everyone, my name is Tamara, and I am from Conway, South Carolina, and it is now time for Carolina and Company Live, the show that keeps you informed about everything happening in the area. Now, here is Amanda and Cecil. All right. Thank you so much. That was nice. Everybody's yeah. always introducing us now. we got a lot more of those to come to. Was she out at the beach? Or? She, we did that one in Surfside. Yeah, we okay. did that at the beach, and uh, we had a lot of people that came out in their bathing suits, and uh, and they wanted to be on TV. Yeah. Everybody wanted to be on TV. Who doesn't want to be on TV, right? Well, talking about the beach today, not a beach day, is it? Oh, man, it's a bad day. Let's find out about the weather. Not all bad. We got rid of a lot of the rain early in the morning, and it looks like at this point conditions will be much drier for at least a midday, early afternoon trip down to the beach if you're going to dodge raindrops, but not if you're going to get a lot of sunshine. Cloudy skies expected to be out there with some peaks of sun possible, and we do have some pop-up showers still possible as we have a lot of tropical moisture still in place. But because of those clouds and rain showers we've seen, temperatures are struggling to even get to 80 degrees. We're at 81 in Hartsville and King Street. Inland areas west of 95 seeing drier conditions that should actually keep your temperatures on the up and up a little bit more so than, say, folks along the Grand Strand, like North Myrtle Beach, where you're still dealing with the clouds and the 
leaving or departing rain showers, keeping you into the mid-70s. Overall, on average, we'll look for low to mid-80s for highs. Mid-80s the further west that you go, where you see maybe a little more sunshine peeking in out of those clouds. Scattered rain and thunderstorms, though, still a possibility through the afternoon and evening, with this front lingering around and these disturbances riding up along it to pop up a shower or a thunderstorm. And that'll be the case even into tonight. High pressure will build in from our west, though, through the end of the week and into the weekend, allowing drier air to move in. That should bring in some much nicer conditions. How about this? Perfectly timed for your weekend. That's when we dry out, see more sunshine, and we're still holding the mid-80s for highs. We're going to stay in the low 80s today, mid-80s for the rest of the seven-day for the Grand Strand, low to mid-80s for the inland areas today and tomorrow, and then climbing to the upper 80s for the end of the week and the weekend with our rain chances tapering off to a 30% chance for Wednesday and Thursday. Isolated at worst on Friday, but a dry looking weekend ahead. Don't forget to check out the latest on the tropics. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. I'm Tracy Vreeland, executive producer at News Channel 15. Here's what we're working on today. Fishermen now say they're seeing problems in the ocean after hundreds of dead fish washed up on Grand Strand beaches last week. You'll hear from them on what's going on. Horry County leaders are celebrating the Ainer Overpass this morning. The bridge gives locals an easier way to get over Highway 501. Join us tonight for those stories and much more on your news at 6 and 7. And welcome back to Caroline and Company Live. Are you on your computer? Because I am, and you know what that means. We have a giveaway today. That's right. From Surfwater Promotions, we're going to give you a visor, a T-shirt, and a water bottle. And all you have to do is uh, just answer the question a little, a little later on. So keep listening to everything we talk about here. That's right. Now, it's not necessarily a beach day today, but it was over the weekend. We did a little surfing, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I want you to check out the picture here. Where's the picture? We've got a picture of Amanda and I. They had the... <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is the guy Daniel the, yeah, Surf off the 13th in Surfside. I think we yeah. should have won with that. Yeah, Amanda right and I there. went down and did a little surfing. Not just there. hanging 10 right there, <laughs> hanging 20. We got. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we did that. It was a tough time to get all that done. But Amanda, we did good, didn't we? Yeah, good times <laughs> on a surfboard. That's right. I want to tell you the guy Daniel Surf off was a big success uh, over the last 12 years. Raised $53,000 for Ori and, and Georgetown County uh, seniors that are going to college and uh, hoping this year to increase the uh, funds even more. That two-day event was a big, big deal. And uh, I brought you a T-shirt. Oh, all right. How about that? <laughs> and there's your T-shirt. All right, thank you board. very you much. You Always good times on a surfboard. That's true, very true. Now, and you uh, were doing some dudging. Yeah, I got coming up this weekend, I want to talk about that real quick at the uh, Hudson Flea Market right there in Surfside now. And uh, we're talking about a charity dog show, and it's going to take place. It's called All for Paul's Shelter, the Hudson Flea Market uh, on Sept uh, August 25th from 10 until 2. Uh, I'll be out there. We'll judge the prettiest dog, the ugliest dog, the best costume, the best of breed, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, that takes place. If you'd like to enter, it's only a $5 entry fee, and uh, you might win something at the dog show. All right. The ugliest dog, really? You give yeah. out the ugliest dog? Good yeah, ugly dog. Cool. All right. You got an ugly dog? I don't have any dog. I have some turtles. Turtle? Can I enter them? Ugly turtle, yeah. No. My mom has a cute dog. <laughs> cute I think dog. her dog would have been the she cute dog. She can enter the cute dog. Right. Five dollars. Okay? Five dollars. That's got all it. it is. Five dollars. Sounds like fun. Let's talk all a little right. bit about today. It's Tuesday. Okay. All right. You handed that to me, didn't yep. you? I'm sorry. Tuesday, August 21st, and this is American Dance Week. All right. You Do can dance dancing. away. Amanda loves to dance. And this is also Weird Contest Month. Weird, oh, we should yeah. have a weird contest. We have good contests. There's yeah. not a weird contest here. Birthday today, 1938. Kenny Rogers, he's 74. Singer and sold over 100 million albums. You remember Ruby Don't Take Your Love to Town. And if you'll notice, I think he's had a little face work. All right, 1956. Kim Cattrall, all right, you remember her now. She's 56. She's Samantha Jones on the TV series Sex, Sex in, the in the City. One I of my favorites. One. 1967, Carrie Ann Moss. She's 45. She's one of the, she's the actress on uh, the Matrix films. Now on this day in history, it was 1959, Hawaii becomes the 50th state for the United States. And in 1972, it was the first hot air balloon flight over the Alps. And I bet you they were cold. All right, here we go. From the Know It All Department, are you ready? Ready. What well-known newsman narrated the TV series, The Untouchables, the original series? Cecil Chandler. <laughs> I went around and I was around, <laughs> but I wasn't at it. Walter Winchell. Okay. The great sound. There he is. Walter Winchell. He did the uh, narration for the TV series, The Untouchables. A great voice, and he was a, a great newsman. And that 
It's from the Know It All Department today. All right, now it is giveaway time. We are giving away a water bottle, T-shirt, and visor from Surfwater Promotions. All you have to do is go to our Facebook page, Amanda Cecil Carolina. Go to the top right-hand corner, click on that send message button, and answer this question right here. What kind of board is used to hang 10 while surfing? Yeah. It's a real tough one that right surfboard here. surfboard we what were on was board? one of those big, big ones we were on. You just gave him the answer. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, send away. us the answer. Coming up next, we have Try This At Home. You're going to love it. CarolinaLive.com has partnered with area businesses to bring you Carolina Live deals. You will save from 50 to 70% off the area's best services, restaurants, and attractions. Today's deal is from Captain Seaweed's Bar and Grill Restaurant at Bucksport Marina in Conway. Get a $20 gift certificate for only $10. Captain Seaweed's Restaurant at Bucksport Marina is right on the Intercoastal Waterway with a great view. And Captain Seaweed Chef makes everything from scratch. So come enjoy some great food, plus the weekends are made for some water fun. So come on down to Bucksport Marina and enjoy the day. Captain Seaweeds has bands almost every Friday night and an outside deck and tiki bar. Check out our website for more information. Save money today by going to carolinalive.com and clicking on the Carolina Live Deals link. It's that easy. Carolina Live Deals, only on carolinalive.com. Here at Surfboard Promotions, we've been helping business promote their brands throughout the PD and along the Grand Strand since 1997. Screen printing, embroidery, promotional products, signs, banners, flags, vehicle wraps. We have everything and more to promote your business at Surfwater Promotions. It's back to school time here at Surfwater Promotions. So show your school spirit by going to surfwaterpromotions.com to register your school's information for a chance to win 72 white school logo t-shirts with two color imprint for free. So roll school! And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We have Melanie with us from the Children's Museum of South Carolina for Try This at Home. Melanie, what do you have for us today? Well, today we're going to do a fun science experiment using recycled materials and things from the kitchen. So we have a regular bottle and some food coloring. So what I want you to do is I want you to add a couple drops of red food coloring. Okay. And I'll add a couple drops of blue. And this is great to teach kids about color mixing. Red and blue mix. But what color? Purple. Purple. Now, notice they aren't mixing with anything. So we want to activate that without making a mess. So you're just going to drop in out of your medicine cabinet some Alka-Seltzer. Okay. And when we things. drop that in, the Alka-Seltzer goes to the bottom and starts to <sighs> react. The Alka-Seltzer is a solid that turns into carbon dioxide and it grabs it and it goes up into the top part and as it reacts, it knocks hey, the color down. Wow. The blue comes down, then it hits the red. It'll start to turn purple. This is a great activity to teach kids about color mixing, to teach them about properties of liquids that water and oil don't mix. And you get to make a little fizzy lava lamp <laughs> yeah, that to is take so home neat. with you. After it's done reacting, all you have to do, put the cap on. You don't want to do it while it's still reacting because okay. that gas is escaping. Right. But when they've learned their science, you just put on a little children's museum, stamp of approval. <laughs> hey, there you go. And it's all set. So if you have kids, grandkids, definitely try this at home. One more time, the ingredients. Water, vegetable oil, some food coloring, Alka-Seltzer. So easy. That's it. And now so it's much fun. Purple. Look at the purple. Wow, that is amazing. And you can do stuff like this all the time at the Children's Museum of South Carolina. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you we'll for see having you next me. next week and try this at home. Stick with us. We'll be right back. That was cool. <laughs> Great. That was better with time, right? I yeah. practiced. That was perfect. <laughs> I think what we'll do next week, we'll break this table up with firewood or something. Put some uh,
Hey, so uh, since um, I'm used to seeing the commercials come up on the screen, can you tell us when we're clear? Okay, that's fine. You hear? Yeah. I don't even hear him. I hear you. Say yeah. Uh, All right, Christy yeah. and Calvin. I don't hear Bob. Bob. Is he there? I don't hear him. Boston, can you give Cecil another IFB you check? Man. You can hear me? I okay, then you should be. I didn't hear you a minute ago. Oh, can you do oh, that? Wow. Oh, that's when you oh, talk so about me. Oh, that's why all you say those mean things. He yeah, can't I don't hear. hear that's you. why he talks bad about me. I can't hear. <laughs> I knew it was something like that. Fifteen. Oh, this is Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. It is a Tuesday and it's time for another guest. That's right. We are talking about art and a show and it's somewhere that you should go. We have Calvin and Christy with us. Thanks for being on our show today. Thank you for having you. us. Okay, now talk a little bit about this event coming up. Well, um, the Wellness Council of South Carolina got together with us, the Roundtable Art Group, and they're putting on, so we can put on an art show slash fashion show. So we can bring awareness uh, to the environment um, live healthier lives and get the younger generation involved with the arts. So we're working together and here we are to try to put on a big event and we're going to make it happen. Good. Uh, this is all going on in 2001? Yes. And uh, Lisa, I understand, is the MC, Lisa Edge from yes, she is. News Channel 15 right here. Okay, talk about uh, the Wellness Council and what you guys do. Uh, actually, we promote natural health, nutrition, physical fitness, um, environmental protection. And right now we have a, a youth program called Green Spark, where we're teaching kids about all of that, trying to get them more active and eating healthier, and also doing some creative arts with them. Okay, some pretty important stuff. You yeah, guys have absolutely. a website too where people need some mm -hmm. information, right? What yes. is that? It's wellnesscouncilcsc.org. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, all right. I and, forgot it for a second. And what brought all this about? How did you guys end up teaming up together? Well, we've known each other for about 10 years, and I knew that the round table had, has been doing art shows for the past. Oh, we've been doing it since 03. Yes. Yeah. So I okay. thought it was a perfect partnership. Yeah, and there's going to be some silent auction items, too? Silent auction items, and then we have the recycled fashion show. Which oh, is going to be lots wow. of fun. I have been in one of those yeah. before. <laughs> so this is, you know, recycled. Do you know what any of the outfits are yet? Can you kind of give some hints? Um, I know some garbage bags are involved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else because I'm gonna, I'm waiting to be surprised. Okay, I'll tell you what. Yeah. When I was in the Recycle Fashion Show, I was amazed at all the different outfits yeah, people very cool. put together. It was so creative. Very we had creative. one a couple years ago, and we had uh, one designer do a wedding gown and bridesmaids dress out of deer corn bags, shower curtains. <laughs> It was beautiful. <laughs> and to think, I throw away my old, old shower curtains. Yeah, you right. can use See, them for you something. should save them for dresses. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Tell them one more time when it's coming up and everything. It is Tuesday, August 28th from 7 to 11 at uh, 2001 Nightclub. And there is a uh, requested or recommended $10 donation at the door. Oh. And all the proceeds go to both those organizations. Okay, right. great. Thank Check you. it out. The Art Bash of 2001 next Tuesday. Stick with us. We'll be right back.
You know, do this, don't you? I guess so. Yeah, he does. Want. We oh, had God, 54 we... boobs filled, and we only had 32 last year. Already Wow. 54. How many judges you got? You're breaking Three. it down. You, so Kevin many. Barron, and um, Tony Scott out of Charleston. She's a award-winning caterer. So are you uh, judging? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three of us? Three of you. To do 54? Mm-hmm. Holy crap. <laughs> you it's better be not okay. eat on We've day. got somebody bringing it to you, and we're going to yeah, judge know it, but before 54 the event. Yeah, 54 is going to kill you. Okay. 54 will kill you. Well, that's why we do three. Right. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We're talking now about some delicious food, the Taste of Florence. That's right. It's coming up. I'm talking about the second annual Taste of Florence, and I was there last year judging, and I got to eat a lot. And there's a lot <laughs> going on. That's why you're going back again That's this year, right? I'm going back again this year. And Jennifer's with us to talk about it. It's October 16th, right? October 16th. It's a Tuesday night from 5 to 9 o'clock, and we're just really excited to offer it again this year. Last year was such a huge success. I know, Chomp, and, and y'all raise money now. Your money goes toward... Right. Our money, our portion of the proceeds um, goes towards a, the planning committee's decision, which is the King's Academy. And the King's Academy is a school we're passionate about. It's a small nonprofit Christian school located in Florence with about 330 students. And um, our children attend there, and so that's what we're passionate about, and that's where our portion of the proceeds go. Now, you're talking about a crowd of people. This place was packed last year. 3,500 people came through. The fire marshal had to close the door four times, Cecil, because we <laughs> hit capacity. <laughs> oh, it's goodness. a good problem to have in your first year. Oh, yeah, man. Now, how many how many you have this year? Uh, vendors, vendors. Vendors wise, we have 54 so far this year with an anticipation of having 60 come on board. Um, we're very excited about a new development. Um, Hotel Florence and Victor's is sponsoring downtown dining section. Arbor One is sponsoring a farmer's market section. So we've got a lot of new things going on. We have about 18 new vendors this year. Well, that's very yeah. good. Now, last year, do you remember what kind of money y'all raised for the Academy? We did. There was a total of about $38,000 that came in, a lot of expenses last year. It was our first year. Right. Um, we had to prove ourselves. We did that quite nicely <laughs> last year. So we've already banked um, a little bit for our, um, for our profit this year. So we're excited. Um, and we just anticipate a growing year. Uh, that night, we looked at each other and said, this thing's got to move to the arena. So that's what we did. <laughs> um, that, uh, you know, that night, we said, it's, it's in the arena next year. And so there, there we Going have it. Going into the big time. All right, now, who are the judges this year? The judges are you, right. Cecil Chandler, of course. Tony Scott out of Charleston. She's an award-winning caterer and has okay. also written a cookbook. And then we also have Kevin Barron. He's a pdfoodie.com. Yeah, he's, he's a, a good guy. I know he's it. an award-winning yeah. blogger for food, uh, foodies everywhere. So. Yeah, well, I have three cookbooks. <laughs> That we put together. Yes. Now, not all my recipes, I'm <laughs> tell you that. But that's going to be a lot but of I fun. I love it, yeah. All right, now Good. tell them again where it's going to be at all. It's going to be at the Florence Civic Center on October the 16th, uh, 5 to 9 o'clock in the arena this year. Uh, Events like this are right. so much fun. Yes, It'll be a lot of fun. You need to go up there with me and we'll get yeah. a lot of food. All and right. can, you can buy Ooh. tickets now, actually, yeah, too. Yeah, we're going to give away some tickets. Yeah. So when the show gets a little closer, we're going to give That'd away some great. tickets. How do people get tickets? Tickets can be purchased at Serve Pro of Florence and Darlington on Pisgah Road, Stripe it on West Palmetto, and they can also purchase on OM Ship. Taste of Florence right. going on in October. Thanks, Jennifer. Yep. Check it Thank out. You. Stick with us. We'll be right back talking about Georgetown.
<laughs> this shows. Is it all messed uh -oh. up? Did I mess it up? I look up and see us on TV. It scares me, man. I look up. <laughs> it's like, hi, mom. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a cute <coughs> bracelet! Oh, my roommate's mother made that for me. Unfortunately, I wish we could sell them in our shop, but yeah. we sell these in the shop. Okay. That's that that's cool, cool too. Yeah. She made it for me just yesterday, actually. So. Okay. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Georgetown, a great place, a historic place. And the Kaminsky House is down there. And we're going to talk a little bit about something coming up there. That's right. Cindy is here to tell us a little bit about it. First of all, what is the Kaminsky House? It is a uh, house that is dates to about 1769. And it, the last owners were the Kaminskys. And they filled the house with antiques and, and all sorts of things. And when Mrs. Kaminsky uh, passed away, she left the city or the house to the city of Georgetown to be used as a museum and we've since kind of expanded it because we've we rent the Stuart Parker house which is right next door and we include that in our tours as well. Oh, well it's nice. beautiful look at all I mean you can see it if you've never been there you need to do it it's a great oh, place yeah. great for a morning show. There you yes, go. yes it anytime would be. I have coffee. <laughs> 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 well it is beautiful and you know it's hard to find places that old. Anymore, it is yeah you know? the Stuart Parker house which is showing right now that is dates from about 1740 1750. Wow. So. And the, I mean, this house has been now, y'all got it as a museum as right. when? When was it given to the city of Georgetown? Mrs. Kaminsky passed away in 1972. We opened on March 6, 1973. Okay. Now, when can people come and take a tour of the house? We're open Monday through Saturday from 9 to 5. The shop is open from 9 to 5. Tours are generally at 11, 1, and 3, but they encourage we encourage people to call ahead just in case if something has changed. Like, we rent out the Stuart Parker House for weddings, parties, and meetings. And if there's a meeting or something going on there, we actually pick up more tours of the Kaminsky House to end less tours. Okay. Because the tours last about an hour and 15 minutes, and it's $10 per person. Oh, that's right. pretty good. For and both houses. You now mentioned this the shop, and I yeah. want to point out this neat necklace that you have on right yeah. here. Is that a spoon? It is a spoon with a... With a Indian uh, head nickel. In, yeah, thank you. Um, and a Turn local a artist... Turn a bit to the camera. Yeah, there we go. Right. Local artist makes these. We just got these in. There are a, a lot of different types. They're all one of a kind. So this oh, one, unfortunately, cool. is spoken for. <laughs> <laughs> that is very, that's very you can't cool. get that one, but you no. can get others similar. Right, it's very similar. We have spoon rings, and so it's really we have all sorts of neat things in our shop. L local artists and also uh, South Carolina products. Okay. So if you're looking at looking at Annabella type home, this is what you need to come down to Georgetown and mm -hmm. visit. And you can have your wedding there, too. That's right. Ooh, I'm not going to do it anymore. One, one more time. <laughs> I've had enough. Yeah, yeah, no more for you. I've had enough. Tell everyone where you're located one more time. We are located at 1003 Front Street in Georgetown, South Carolina. Right All right. Thanks, right thanks so much. Water. Thanks so much for being with us. Stick Thank with you. us. We're announcing the giveaway winner when we come back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, you hang 10 on a surfboard. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's what Amanda and I were doing. That's right. So Con much fun down at Surfside Beach. Congratulations <laughs> to May McDonald. You are today's giveaway winner. We'll let you know how you can pick up your items from Surfwater Promotions. And if you didn't win, 
Well, then watch because we give stuff away all the time. We give it all the time. And if you have something interesting you'd like to be on the show with, all you got to do is get in touch with us here at TV 15. And we'll get you on Carolina and Company Live. And it's an interesting show. And it lets everybody know what's going on in the area, no matter what it is. From Florence all the way around everywhere, we'll let you know about it. Don't forget. Our show is tonight again at 10 o'clock, and you can find us on carolinalive.com. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Beach.